What's up everybody, I'm John Beer, and today I'm gonna to talk about the Olympus 12 to 200. Just listening to that name, 12 to 200 millimeters, just blows my mind. 12 millimeters is incredibly wide, and then it goes all the way to 200 millimeters. That's just, ugh. You could be vlogging with this lens, and then all of a sudden you see a bird on a mountain, and you're like, ooh, let me just take a look at that. With such an incredible range, there has to be a catch. And, well, the aperture is 3.5 to 6.3. Not stellar. But this is pretty much what you would expect with something like this. This is, of course, made for Micro Four Thirds camera. So when you slap it on there, you're gonna get a 24 millimeter to 400 millimeter equivalent, which is just mind blowing. When using this lens, you feel like you're one of those television broadcast cameras that are like anchored down with big handles. Seeing as it's not a very fast lens, you might be wondering who is this lens even for? The person that I imagine using this lens would be somebody who is into nature photography or bird watching, and they wanna be able to vlog as well. So they can film themselves easily with a wide, wide angle lens, and then flip it around and just keep taking photos. I'm surprised, this is actually a very good vlogging lens. Like this focal range is just perfect for Micro Four Thirds cameras. And then you can just flip the camera around, like this. You see that mountain over there? Look at that mountain. Oh, all right. Woo! And as you can tell, this lens is quite stable on the GH5 body. Uh, vlogging is not an issue at all. I'm walking now. But it's not. Another scenario that I can imagine is imagine if you're a sports fan, you go to a soccer game, you want to be able to vlog, but you also want to flip it around and get some close-ups off the soccer players. Assuming it's daylight or it's very well lit, it should be fine. But let's say you're very interested in that focal range, uh, 12 to 200, you might want to slap it on a body that can handle very high ISOs. So right now I'm shooting with the GH5. GH5 tends to fall apart as soon as you go above ISO 1200, so this wouldn't necessarily be for me. But if you're using maybe the Blackmagic, or you're using the GH5S, which has dual ISO capabilities, this lens actually might do really well. Now that I think about it, as long as ISO is not a problem, this would be the perfect wedding videography lens. After all, a wedding is a very personal thing, and you don't want to get up into their faces and ruin the whole thing. But you still want to be able to get amazing video from a distance. The price is not too bad. It's definitely not one of Olympus's pro range lenses, which makes it a little cheaper. All in all, a very fun lens. Definitely, if you get a chance to play around with it, I would do recommend trying it. For such an insane amount of zoom, this lens is tiny. It's very small, and I think that's gonna factor into whether or not you want this lens. Usually telephoto lenses are like massive beasts, but this one, you could fit in your pocket. That's it for me. Let me know in the comments what you think. And if you wanna see more of my videos, then hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.